Hey everybody, happy Tuesday, I'm June 3rd, and this is a reading of Insight Clarity Guidance for this day. I really felt strongly called to use these decks. This is an oracle deck. This is the mystical shaman um, vibrating in my hands. So what messages, what clarity, what insight, what guidance? Spirit guides, higher self angels, do you have for us? This 23rd of 2020. I know I'm jumping right in, but um, that's what I do. Clarity, guidance, insight, information. What do we need to know? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Luminous Warrior. The Smoky Mirror. Oh, and let's hide. The Lower World. Oh, you know. I'm taking this. Smoky Mirror. The Lower World. And the luminous way. So let's chat. I feel like the message for today is all about the smoky mirror. So when we look at ourselves, we reflect in the mirror. We, you know, look at ourselves and with it being smoky, things are clouded. Maybe things aren't as clear as we would like them to be. There are hidden things that are asking us to pay attention to, to witness, to be aware of. And I feel like that ties into the lower world. The lower world is a subconscious. It is the hidden... Ah, well, how do I say it? The, the deeper depths of the mind. The subliminal programming. The things that we've been taught from infancy. We may not always cognizantly realize we've got these programmings but they are there they are operating they are what is it 80 85 90 95 percent of our subconscious programming this is what we're operating on and i would feel like that's why the mirror is smoky that's why we're being asked to Take a good look because the luminous warrior, this is what is waiting. Because when we understand what is hidden in the deeper recesses of our mind, when we understand why our reflection is smoky, why it's clouded, why it's confusing, 
why well, you know and and smoky mirror okay people mirror things to us you go out there in the day to day somebody triggers you why why does that trigger you have you ever wondered why does that irritate you why does that bother you so much well yeah they did this and blah 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 but no, why? What's what uh what's in the lower world, your subconscious? Why does it bother you so much? Through the process of of taking that time re Oh Lord. In <laughs> I'm I'm getting too many words at once. Reflecting, introspecting I'm like, they're trying to come out all at the same time. But by taking that time, making that space, really understanding what it is that triggered you, why, that helps you elevate to the Luminous Warrior. Because these things are lessons that obviously we are being called to learn to understand what's going on deep within the mind what's clouding our vision what's keeping us from being the luminous warrior we are supposed to be so i kind of really feel like that's the message for the 23rd whenever you find this though please understand spirit operates on spirit's timeline so whenever you find it this is what the message this is what is meant for you to receive i handled like four different tarot decks and this one was singing in my hands so i feel like this one really has some messages to bring forward One moment, please. What just topped out is the Three of Cups. And this is under the smoky mirror. Let's see what else before I start. I already have some ideas on that, but really? The next is death under the lower world. Luminous warrior, insight, guidance, clarity, please, spirit, angels, higher self. Messages for those who are watching. What is this luminous warrior about? What is this luminous warrior about for those who are watching these messages? So that I might go here. Hmm. Nothing popping. A five of cups. Swords. Two of Swords. And five of Wands. All right, so we're going to pull more cards, but just bear with me right now. Three of Cups under the smoky mirror. I feel like. I feel like this is a third party situation. Third party meaning something coming in between you and your happiness. And that doesn't mean it could be another person. It, it doesn't necessarily have to be. It could be addiction. It could be 
um, someone who's a workaholic, um, someone, oh my God, Lord, forgive me for saying this. It could be children. Like literally right now, my head's down. I, I don't know why I heard that, but a barrier that prevents or stagnates the union. You know, that, that, that's a third party. And third parties come in all forms, size, shapes. There's no wrong, there's, I'm not judging anybody on anything, okay? So please don't take it that way. Oh my God. I mean, it's like, I was a preschool teacher for seven years and I've got three kids of my own. I love children. Um, I don't know where that came from, but it did. And I think it's important. Some, it, it came for a reason. Someone who's watching this needs to hear that. What do you do with it? Well, hold on. Let, let's come back. Okay. Bear with me. Be patient, please. Please. The lower world, we got the death card. And we already talked about this being the subconscious beliefs, the programming, um, you know, things that we were taught. We were, so, it was supposed to be like this, we're supposed to do this. And that's why the mirror, this, the mirror is smoky. Well, the death card means an end to that, which is actually a beautiful thing in my world. I think that's beautiful and amazing because that means you're waking up. You're you're seeing beyond the programming. You're seeing beyond the limitations. You're seeing beyond the constrictions. And you're ready to embark on a new beginning. And I really think that's a beautiful and amazing gift. I really do. Whatever that journey looks like, I mean, I don't know, but we can pull some cards for that as well. But it seems to me, though, with the ending of a cycle, what that does is like a book, you know, when you're reading a book and you end a chapter, well, now you're about to start a new chapter. It, it's pretty exciting if you've read the book that far along, right? <laughs> You know, you're excited to see what comes next. Well, this is a new chapter in your life. That's what the death card represents. Ending of one thing and the beginning of a new thing. So, I really feel like this is a very exciting thing, especially under the lower world, because it's an ending of those beliefs, the programming, that's been holding you back and limiting you and it, it, it's been keeping you boxed in and you're done and I think that's a beautiful thing and out of it is new beginnings but we can pull some car clarifier cards on that one as well all right now the luminous warrior I was really excited when I saw this and then these cards came out, and I'm so not very excited. Luminous Warrior is, especially after the smoky mirror, the lower world, I felt like that was going to be, you know, stepping into your power, lighting up, gratification, um, owning who you are. But then we got the Five of Cups. And to me, this is. We got the three spilled cups over here, but we got the two full cups on the counter. And this person is so sad and so broken. They don't even acknowledge that they've got two full cups sitting there waiting. 
And I feel like that's because the Eight of Swords, they're feeling stuck and trapped. You know, it's a woe is me. It's a pity party. Come on. Let's just call it what it is. This person is so stuck in their own mind, feeling so pathetic and sorry for themselves. They've created this massive pity party. And even though, though they know they've got choices, they've got options. So much easier to feel pathetic. Sorry guys, calling it. That's how I see it. That's how I hear it. And this five of wands, it's, you know, going around, picking fights, picking battles with other people. You've got choices. They're right there. And, but no, we're going to be woe is me. We're going to wallow in our spilled cups. We're going to ignore the full cups. We're just going to be blinded to the whole thing. And whatever our choices are, yeah. Luminous Warrior is there waiting for you. It really is. I'm going to grab this deck. Alright, guys. Higher Self Angels. Can we get some clarity, please? I don't even think we need clarity on the Death card. We don't need clarity on the Three of Cups. That's pretty damn clear. Death is pretty damn clear. Um, can we get some clarity on this Luminous Warrior with all this other, because it seems like there's a lot of drama. Can we please get some clarity? Four of Swords. Tower in reverse and the Empress. So I feel like what your guides are telling you is stop and make time, go within, rest, reflect. I don't know if you know about the, the story about the Four of Swords, but in um, ancient Roman times when the um, warriors would come back from battle they actually went into a coffin and that's where they would rest and reflect upon the battle who lived why who died why what different choices could they have made how could they have better managed to have a different outcome. And I feel like that's what your guides are asking you to do. Because this this is this is janky. I mean, I they like all of this th this is just is this is a mind fuck. Sorry guys. It is. And I feel like your guides are asking you stop make time. Look at the bigger picture cuz the luminous warrior is waiting for you. Because y'all got the Empress. Then we got the Tower in reverse. And by, by making this time, making this a priority, going within, giving yourself that gift of time and space reflection, understanding, really internalizing what's going on in your life and in your world, you stop a tower a moment because let me tell y'all towers are preventable but when they hit if you haven't been paying attention shit hits the fan fast hard dirty it rocks your world to the core your guides are telling you you've got the opportunity by going within to take away a tower moment. 
And I seriously hope you listen and pay attention to this message. I didn't. My tower... OMG. It, it was not pretty. It lasted for a few years. Rocked my ho whole entire world. I mean, one thing after another. Your guides are telling you make time and space because this is this is nonsense this is this is chaos right here where you're supposed to be the luminous warrior you're supposed to be in a space of play uh, a place of grace and you got all the drama mama shit going on and it's time to go within reflect Prevent that tower so that you can step into the Empress. And the Empress, Luminous Warrior, Booyah, it's there waiting for you. Your guides are telling you they're, they're trying to help you see the bigger picture, gain insight and understanding and clarity, and really truly... All I can say is on this day, I would seriously like chill. People, drama, situations, walk away, don't engage. Say, you know what? I'm all done. I'd be done for today. Um, and don't let people pull you into their games. I would also say make time and space for you. Whatever that looks like for you. I'm hearing um, a bath. Epsom salts. Um, pink salt if you've got a black salt any kind of salt and a bath have a glass of wine <laughs> uh, but no seriously uh, a cleansing bath a ritual bath purify your energy release and let go allow yourself the opportunity to move beyond because if you don't that tower is not going to be reversed and you know the the empress is right there waiting it's waiting for you all that abundance that wealth the birthing of new ideas new opportunities new potentials it's all right there waiting I don't know why I keep hearing seriously, take a bath. And if you don't have Epsom salt or whatever, I mean, I found pink salt, pink Himalayan salt at the Dollar Tree, but just even regular table salt. Put some salt in your bath water. Um, anything else, any herbs, flowers, petals that makes it feel special and luxurious to you. And I really feel that that is going to allow you to get into that space and that place. I don't know, guys. I, I don't know. Sometimes this stuff comes out of nowhere. I don't even know. I have to rewatch the video myself because I don't know. Any words of wisdom, advice? Angels. Peace. Oh, that's right, that's right. Words of wisdom, advice. What do you want to share? Oh yeah. Whew. Tingles. A romance. Uh-huh. 
Okay. Opportunity. One more, please. One more, please. Ask for help from others. All right, you guys. I feel like... Your angels, your guides, goddesses, higher self, whatever spirit, whatever you, whatever you believe in, they're telling you that love is on its way. Opportunities are also coming to fruition, and asking others for help. I don't know about you all. I think this is the hardest one for me. I'm willing to give help. Oh, yeah. I'll be there for you all day, every day. But for me to ask? That's a major challenge. And, you know, it's kind of interesting. Okay. Let me... Three of Cups is about romance under the smoky mirror. Understanding the depths of your soul, removing the haze, clearing that space, allowing the celebration, the victory, the love, um, camaraderie. And that's where the romance is. Although, even as I say that, I still feel like there's a third party situation. Which kind of makes me feel uneasy, but just be aware. Okay, that's all. Be aware. But I do feel like romance is in the air. The lower world, the subconscious, with the death, moving away from uh, understanding, realizing having that new awareness, that new concept of the things that are not benefiting you and it creates an ending, but with that ending is a new beginning and that new beginning brings about incredible opportunity. Ask for help from others. Well, we got a boatload of cards over here. The Luminous Warrior um, I just feel like, you know, the five of cups realizing, you know, shit, you're leaving on the table, you're dumping over, you're, you're, you're sorrowful in your spilt cups, not even realizing what you still have there. It's keeping you tied up, blind, bl feeling bound, blinded, divided, not knowing which way to go. And, you know, there, there's some bickering back and forth as a result of all of this. Luminous Warrior, you're supposed to be glorious. You're supposed to be rocking this shit. And I feel like your guys are telling you, just go within. This is the advice. Go within. Avoid that tower. Because you certainly can by going within respect. Come on. I, they're giving me too many words at once. Um, introspecting, reflecting, honoring what has been, learning those lessons so that you can avoid more towers, so you can step into the Empress. And through the process, I feel like really the ask for others comes into play when you're doing the introspection. Rely on your trusted friends, your trusted family, uh, trusted people. Okay, don't, don't go asking people for help who always tell you what you want to hear. You know who I'm talking about. I know you know. It's time for the people who call you 
out for your BS. And listen, you may not like what they have to say, but you need to listen to them because they are the ones who are going to help you avoid that tower. And if you just go for the people who blow smoke up your skirt to make you feel good about you, that tower isn't going to get reversed. It's going to rock your fucking world. So, really, right now, your guides are telling you, ask for help, but be discerning who you ask for help from. I, would, I, I wouldn't go to those who, you know, kiss your ass or blow smoke up your skirt. Honest, I wouldn't. They're not going to help you. And you're trying to avoid this big ass tower. Well, I hope you are. I certainly would be. I mean, if you're making the time to go in and reflect and you want to be able to go into this empress of total abundance, then you need to ask people who are wise see through your BS because, you know, come on, we all have it. No matter how much we try to be straightforward and honest, we all have our own levels of, we all have, what is it, own levels of devils. That's what just came to me. We all have something inside of us. And it doesn't always make life easy. So, your guys, your angels, they're, they're trying to help you on this. And I hope you heed it. I hope you listen. I hope you hear. I want to see you in the Empress place, the Luminous Warrior. I feel like they're one and the same. So, I really feel like that's why all of this came out under the Luminous Warrior. So, I really feel like your angels and your guys are really trying to, like, kind of... <laughs> launch you forward into a better place so you are in a better space so that you can step into that power of the luminous warrior the empress of abundance of total fertility fruition bringing it all together for you so anywho uh, this is your daily insights for June 23rd. I hope you found this helpful, insightful. Whenever you find it, I hope it resonates. And I hope it gives you some clarity for where you are, whatever your situation might look like right now. And, um, love, light to all of you. If you like this, please consider giving me a thumbs up. Um, there you go. Thumbs up. Um, leaving a comment. Maybe even subscribing to the channel. That would be awesome. This is a general reading. And so, if you would like me to read for you specifically with your personal energy... Uh, please check out the information in the description below. I do offer individual readings. And, yeah. So, I, like I said, I just, I really hope this reading resonates. I hope it's been helpful. I hope it's been meaningful. And... If I can help in other ways, please do let me know. Alright, that's all I got. Talk to you later. Love you much. Bye.